Please state your name and affiliation into the mic and designate who you would like to answer the question. We have quote, quote transcribers working remotely and that information will be helpful. Quotes and other media materials can be located in the media drop box and on big12sports.com. Congratulations, Coach. Uh, we've got uh, Wes Miller here with Seamus Lukosius and Day Day Thomas. Coach, can you get us started with some general comments about the game? Well, first, I just, you know, you look down and they, they get 85. And if you'd have told me before the game they get 85, I'd have been really pissed because I said we're going to have a hard time winning and we're going to have to defend a lot better than that. Uh, uh, first, hats off to, to Josh. He, he's been in a tough position all year. And, you know, we played that game a couple days ago and it really went our way. It didn't go their way and it got away from them. And it's hard to get a team to recover that quickly. And I think it says a lot about him as a coach that they, they came out and played significantly different today uh, than they did against us on Saturday. So give him credit for that. They were, they were really good. They shot the eyes out of it. Certainly I wasn't pleased with some of our defensive effort. Um, I, but give them credit. We made a mistake and they got a clean look and it felt like for a while there they didn't miss any of them. Uh, you know, I, I thought our guys, I, we got off to a decent start, but I thought when things didn't go our way, it, it wasn't like they, they didn't want to do it right. They just looked a little shell-shocked. I hadn't seen that from this team in a long, long time. And then finally, I think we get down 16 and they just said, well, we're just going to play our tails off and play the way we practice every day. And they did. And they started playing with a lot of pop and pace and started defending and getting to loose balls. And then we find ourselves back in the game. And, uh, you know, I, I thought there was some really gutsy performances. We had to play guys some really extended minutes, which you don't want to have to do in a multi-game tournament. But you don't stick around for the next day if you don't take care of the first one. So, uh, but CMOS, man, he hits big, 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 big shots. Uh, and, and made all his, his big free throws, eight for eight, you look down. I thought Day Day hit big, 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 big shots. So, you know, we haven't shot it well over the course of this year. At least it's not as good as I think we can. Um, and they were backing up and really letting us shoot the ball. And those guys, especially down the stretch, made some big ones. Um, I, I thought uh, Dan Skillings was, was really, really good tonight. I, I, you know, I thought he wore down there. We played him too many minutes. But he had great pop the whole game. He was the one guy that looked like he was moving like himself out there for 40 minutes. And then I thought he made a really, really nice play to find Day Day in the corner uh, in that last out-of-bounds play to put us up five. So I'm really proud of my group. Uh, I did not like how we played for the first, gosh, 28 minutes. And I really, really liked the way they responded the last 12. That, that's been the character of this group all year. It's why it's been a joy to coach them. Okay, please remember to raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. Um, we're going to start with this one over here on the left, um, about three rows back. Coach, you, you you brought up the shooting struggle so far this season. These two guys have, have had their fair share of that. What is it like to see them keep their confidence throughout the whole season, especially down 16 today, and be able to pull off the win? Yeah, I, I think uh, they've been they've been. It's funny. I don't think either one of them have ever lost any confidence. They're confident players. That's why they've, they've had big-time games. Uh, I think they've been pissed and frustrated at times that they haven't made some shots that they, they make every day. They're, they're both really, really talented offensive players, and they both can really shoot it. So I think, if anything, I don't think they've ever lacked any confidence. I think they've, they've just been mad or frustrated at times. Well, you guys agree with that, right? Um, but we see it every day. They put the work in every day. Uh, but it, it was nice when a team backs up on us, you know, we get 14 out of these two guys and uh, you know that doesn't surprise me but we we haven't had that this year and so that gave us a big boost tonight. Please remember to identify yourself and, and your affiliation. Let's go right here on the front row. CMOS Ryan Roberts with Riverfront Cincy. Coach has said all year that we're going to eventually see a game like this out of you. How much does it mean to you to have this type of game in this environment? Um, I mean it means a lot you know it means a lot to, to have this game and it means a lot that that coach believed that I will have this game at some point point. Um, and yeah I mean there's no no better time you know this is win or go home um, it was the most important game of our season so far so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm glad it happened yeah let's go over here to the left coach David Smale field level media over here uh, thoughts about quick turnaround having to face Kansas tomorrow you do 
do face them without Dickinson and McCuller, but your thoughts about doing it quickly? Yeah, well, before I answer that, I, I, you know, I look down and it's not like I didn't notice it while I was coaching, but I should say something about it. Aziz Bandego with 13 rebounds, how about that performance? How about that? That that deserves to be recognized too. And we had some other really, really good moments for everybody else. But yeah, I, I think, um, listen, Kansas is Kansas and um, they're, they've been at the, the top of college basketball for as long as the heck I've been alive, quite frankly. Um, you know, what, what they've done in this league uh, as long as I've been alive is incredible. And, you know, he's Coach Self has another great team that's going to compete to win a national championship. We, we understand who we're playing against. We have a ton of respect for that. We're playing them here in Kansas City. I think it's just an opportunity for our group. And I think w the one thing we have a lot of respect for Kansas, regardless of who can or can't play. Um, I think we believe we can play with anybody. I think we've kind of proven that to ourselves this year. Uh, but we have a ton of respect for, for any opponent that we could see in this tournament. Yeah, let's go over here to the right on the front row. Neil Meyer with the front office news. CMOS, walk us through the second half. 26 points, 6 and 9 from shooting. What were those second half adjustments that you saw to allow you to get going there in the second half? Well, I, don't, I don't know if I even saw any, any adjustments really. Nothing really changed from the first half. I just, you know, made a few shots, started being more aggressive. You know, got some, got some free throws to go in. Uh, our offense just started, you know, flowing more naturally. We got back to, to playing like ourselves. And uh, just not only me, but everybody else got, got easier shots that, that are part of their game. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of how we got back in it. Okay, let's go here, Troy, on the left. Uh, Justin Williams from The Athletic. Day Day, you were really aggressive in the first half as well. Was that part of the game plan? Did you feel like there was something you could exploit? And then maybe when's the last time you felt like the, the hoop was that big for you, shooting from deep? Uh, I mean, that's my job on the team. You know, I got to make plays for my team. I always got to be aggressive. So just playing my game, having confidence in my team, my team having confidence in me to, you know, get downhill, make plays for each other. Okay, the school here to on the right, on the front row. Alex Frank, Chatterbox Sports. Coach, West Virginia picks up two technical fouls in the second half. Could you guys sense momentum turning once those happen? And how much do you talk about to your guys about keeping composure when things don't go your way or at least starts to slip away in a, in a game? I think, you know, I, I think our guys came out of the under-12 timeout. I, I believe we're down 16. And they just played with a, a different approach those next couple possessions. And I think we kind of could feel some momentum turning there. It didn't mean that we knew we were going to come back and win the game. But I think that settled us in coming out of that under-12 timeout. I, be, I believe I'm right that we were down 16 there. Um, you know, we, we, we take a lot of pride, and, and we, we've made our fair share of mistakes. So I'm not here to judge others, but I, we take a lot of pride in, in, as a team and as a program and, and just trying to be about the next play. We talk about it every day. We had it on the board before the game today and not responding to things that we can't control. So uh, I, I'm not here, like I said, I'm not here to talk about the other team um, or judge the other team. But that was fortunate that we got four extra free throws there. Um, and I was proud that my guys didn't respond because a lot of times when you see those type of things, it ends up being a double technical. So it is something we value, and I was proud that we didn't respond. Coach, we got one standing up over here on the left. Steve Walls, KO and FM. This is for both Day Day and CMOS. You guys both had career highs tonight. Uh, just talk about that feeling. You guys seem kind of mellow right now, so I just wanted to find out. You know, what you guys <laughs> they're they're who, they're off the court. They're both always like this. Okay. So who would you like first? New. Which one first? Uh, I mean, just playing with confidence. I mean, my coaches and my team just telling me keep shooting the ball. So. I'm always have confidence in myself, keep making plays, keep hitting out shots. Shout out to Dan Skills, you know, making the last play, good play at the end, good pass. You know, I had to hit a big time shot today. Yeah, um, I mean, kind of the same thing, just playing with confidence. I think it's funny, my, the career high that I beat, I think, was also in, a, in the Big East tournament my freshman year. So I guess I'll maybe I like these types of, types of games. So <laughs> hopefully I can, I can beat it again tomorrow. Hey, we got time for two more, both on the front row. The first one will be on the right. Day Day, a year ago, you're playing at the junior college level. How much does this experience mean to you, especially in this type of environment? Uh, I mean, it means a lot because, you know, when I was at JUCO, I was watching this tournament. 
and you know, just playing in it, seeing how it is, everything faster, everybody athletic. It's a, it's a good experience. Um, I'm loving it. Last one is here on the left. Coach, how, how did it feel to be on the other end of, of this coming back like that? And uh, were you aware that this was also the, the gym that you had your previous biggest comeback? So I was told this is your biggest comeback uh, as a coach, or at least, at least here. Yeah, I mean, I, guys, we come back down 16 and win in the conference tournament. It feels good. Shoot, I'm human. I, I love that. Uh, but it, it felt good. I, again, I think for me, um, th this group has had a certain level of character when you deal with them every day, they've had a certain level of character that's made them unique and different. Um, it hasn't always meant that we've been on the right end of the result, but the character of this group is that it responds, it fights, it stays together. And so to see that again in a game where it really wasn't going our way, uh, and then for them to come out and, and be rewarded for that character when they haven't felt like we always have all year, that, that was the part that meant the most to me. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck.